Hi, this is Lucas with the fifth tutorial of this series of how to create a simple breakout game. So, so far we have reached this state. So I'm going to show you where we are. So that was what we did in the first four tutorials so i hope you are liking this series so we can begin the fifth one we are going to tackle of how to do how or how to do and display the score and the lives so in the top left we are going to display the score and in the top right corner we are going to display the lives so the user is going to have three lives and when uh, he reaches zero uh, the game over screen will appear and if all the blocks are destroyed the uh, user will uh, see the one screen so that is basically what we are going to do so let's begin first open the script of the game controller then let us make two static variables static variables mean that you can get and change their value from any script available right here so from the ball controller for example we can change the value of the static variables so that is what exactly what we need for the score and lives so static var score of type integer is equals to zero because um, it is going to begin from zero and static var lives of type integer and we are going to set it to three you uh, if you want you can set the maximum number of lives to a different number so the next thing is that we are going to um display these uh, th these values together with a simple label so first of all let us comment this for loop right here so that um later on we don't need to hit uh, the two rows of blocks so that we can see the one screen so now we are going to create a reserved function of unity again called function on gui which handles all the interface the graphical interface of unity or of the game more specifically specifically so um, uh, let us declare it and in it we are going to say gui dot color equals color with a capital c dot white white because um uh, to see see it contrasting with the background so the color is changed to white and here we are going to say gui dot label we are going to create a label to display the score so rect rect we are going to give it the x position which is 20 comma the y position 10 and now we are going to give the size of the rectangle so 100 of width and 50 of height comma and here we are going to write what is going to be seen on on screen so score in inverted commas plus the variable name score so that we can see it and close brackets the same thing we can copy it and we are the same thing is going to be for the lives so here we are going to change lives and lives the color is white again but uh, the position we need to p to change the position of the x so here instead of 20 we write 725 so we save and it should show us if we play it the score and the lives right here so even if we play they still are there but they don't change once the ball for example falls because we did not cater for anything of that type so to do that, to change the lives and the score, 
we need to go on to the ball controller because all the things are here so first of all if the ball falls right here we added this code of to respond the ball we are going to the minus a life as well so here make a new line and we are going to d to call this static variable and my um, um, uh, subtract one from it so we to call to do that write game controller d sorry game controller the name of the script dot the name of the variable sorry dot lives and minus 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 means my uh, subtract by one so the next thing is to so the next thing is to see the result so here if we play it and the ball falls the lives as you can see are subtracted by one every time so the next thing is to tell him to display the game over screen once the user doesn't have any lives left so first of all we are going to create a new scene for the game over so go to file and save first of all save the scene and now file new scene and a new scene should appear so first of all go on the main camera and change the projection to orthographic Sa um, uh, file save scene again and save it as in the scenes folder and call it game over so to know if the game over screen appears we just need to add a game object 3d text put it a bit in the center resize it and instead of hello world we just write here right here in the inspector game over to exclamation mark and save we can also change the name of the layer to game over so that if you have more text layers you can distinguish between them so save the scene and now we are going to go back into the other scene game now we need to load the game over scene once the user doesn't have any lives left so to do that put an other another if statement right here in the update of the ball controller and we say if game controller dot lives are equal to zero we are going to load the game over scene so that is very easy application dot load level and here in the inverted commas we write the name of the scene exactly as it is so we can test it so uh, the um to test it to load the other scene you need to build the settings so build go to file build settings right here add the game over and scene i'm going to delete them add the game over ah sorry add the game first and then the game over scene and click build and name it i'm going to name it breakout the axe file which finally will hold the game as an executable so once it's done we can close that window and we through play it and we lose all the lives two left one left and now the screen should show exactly as we want to so that worked the next thing is if we destroy the ball uh, sorry if we destroy all the blocks um, the U1 screen um, uh, is is showed so it's shown so um, uh, first of all let's create let's create another scene and change the camera projection to orthographic again add a new text a new 3d text enlarge it place it in the middle and we write u1 so change the name of the layer again to u1 and save the scene and name it u1 so that is ready all uh, that is also ready so we go back into the game scene 
and we go into the code. So we need to tell him if the blocks are all destroyed, then load the level U1. Uh, sorry, load the scene U1. So if game object dot find game objects with tag block dot length is smaller than one or equals to zero so here it, uh, we are telling him if all the the game objects with with the tag block are have a length of um, uh, smaller than one that means they are all destroyed we are going to load the u1 screen so load level and here we say u1 and you have to add the other scene as well in the build settings as we did with the game over so drag the scene u1 and build and replace the xv file with the new one so let's play and we hope to finish it immediately upwards so and after the blocks are all destroyed the new one screen is showed so the last thing to do in this tutorial we are going to add the score so to do that go in the ball controller script and here in the function on collision we are going to say if the ball hits a game object of type of with the tag block we are going to increase the the score so we are going to to make an if statement just in case because we don't want it um uh, in a negative format so if we uh, we say if game controller dot score is small uh, is bigger or equal to zero we add the score by 10 so game controller dot score equals game controller sorry controller dot score plus 10 we can add obviously how much you want when the user hits a block so as you can see when i'm hitting 10 are uh, 10 points are added in the score right here for example now is 15 and you continue like that save the script obviously so that is basically what we had to do in the fifth tutorial hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe thanks again